channel Life of Zeons. If you haven't been here before, my name is Zisha. Today we are filming a day in the life video. Bronson and I are super, super, super excited because we are traveling about three hours south to a place called Yamba. It's in New South Wales. We actually really excitingly won a special photo shoot. So we're making the journey down there. Our photo shoot is actually taking place tomorrow, so we'll definitely film another daily vlog then. But for today, we have a travel day, and right behind me here, I have all of the goodies that we're taking. I have nicely laid them out on the bed, as you can see, which this is one of my favorite things about going like on a trip I just think that it is so much fun just to lay out all of your like holiday clothes so you will of course see we've got these bad boys right here we could not go on a winter holiday without them so I've got mine Bronson's got his these are both amazing if you don't know what they are I'll link the video in the iCard and the description box below so you can check them out I also couldn't resist but purchasing Bronson and I matching pajamas and I just think the pattern on these are so super cute so I'm really excited to wear those and match. I can't leave the house without my new neck pillow. I absolutely love sleeping on this. It's so comfortable. I have taken one or two nights sleeping on the other type of pillow that I had before seriously no good I can only sleep on this so I'm taking it with me so I can get good sleeps and I don't know how cold I'm gonna be so I also have my wheat bag in case it is cooler I can heat that up as well honestly anyone would think that we're not from New Zealand and not used to the cold because we are packing like so winter-esque we've both got our jackets as well so they're just up there um, we can just chuck them on before we leave, obviously. I decided to put our toiletries and bits and bobs in these baskets. Because we're traveling in the car, I just thought this would be easier than suitcases. I've got this steamer because I have to steam my dress when we get there for the photo shoot. Also have my Pepico mask. If you hadn't noticed already at the beginning of this video, I am majorly breaking out at the moment. My skin is so, 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 so bad. Uh, hence why I don't have any makeup on today. I just want to, like, I don't know. I just don't want to make it worse. But I'm not enjoying it either way. So I've got my Pepico mask that I have been doing every second night. Which I do think has definitely helped at least tame them. Which is good. Um, face washes, all the bits and bobs. Makeup, hair curlers. Scissors, just in case we need them. Tan, makeup remover. I've even got some coat hangers so we can hang up our nice outfits for the photo shoot once they're ironed and steamed. I just didn't know if there was going to be coat hangers at the Airbnb. So I've just got two just for our um, important clothes. And if you do not know this hack, it is something that you should definitely know. Necklaces. Just put them through straws and then they do not get tangled. It is the best travel hack ever. And then, of course, all of our items of clothes that we're taking with us and masks just in case situations change and we are in a situation where we could need to wear them. I don't want to wear the reusable ones. I especially purchased these because they are silk, which is the best kind of fabric. Um, if you haven't heard of the whole like pillowcase craze, silk pillowcases, which I still need to get one of those. Um, but basically that's silk face masks and with my skin like it is at the moment I definitely want to be using that that's for sure so if we do go into like sudden mask wearing at least I'm prepared and don't have to wear the awful disposable scratchy ones and aggravate this even more um, but anyway we are going to pack all of this into our suitcases pack it into the car and we are off on a long weekend trip away, which we have not done in ages. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get on the road. Here he is. He's just back. Oh look, he looks like he's got some treats. So what did you end up buying then? That lady 
Pete was so lovely that she convinced me to buy immediately two snacks because I saved eight cents per liter. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's actually pretty worth it. Yeah, it's pretty good. So I was like, well, I can't turn that down. Then she's like, and if you hang on just a second, I'll give you your receipt and you can go on the draw to win $1,000 worth of BP gift cards. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah, she sounded lovely. She sounded like she's from um, either America or, or uh, Canada or something. Aww, she's that's so nice. nice. Mm. That's super nice. Well, I've just been sitting here trying to vlog but doing a terrible job because I feel like everyone that walked past the car was looking at me. <laughs> I don't know if they were. I think it might have been in your head because I couldn't really tell. See it? When you were, yeah, and I was okay. like looking at you. That's yeah. good because the lady that walked in front of the car definitely looked right at me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. All right, now we're off to... Zarafas. Zarafas. We actually really wanted Starbucks because Starbucks is our first choice but it's not on the way to the M1. It's like... A 20 minute drive the opposite direction so we're having to settle for Zarafas. Which would add 40 minutes to our drive. Yes, yeah, you're right HC. It would add 40 minutes so Zarafas it is. And some sort of food. Mmm. Welcome to Zarafas, please place your order. We took so long to order because we right. don't know the Zarafas menu. <laughs> right, all while waiting for our food we've swapped to sunglasses. Bronson's taken his jacket off and we took so long to choose what we wanted to order because we are not familiar with the Zarafas menu at all. But we settled on a Benny bagel for each of us, which is a hollandaise sauce bagel with eggs and bacon. And Bronson also got an extra side of toasty, cheesy Vegemite toast. And yes, unfortunately we have just broken the no eating in the car rule. First road trip. <laughs> the rules are broke. We found a little rest spot over next to these little cane or corn thingy majiggies. I'm not They're too so sure what cute. they are. I've just taken some Insta pics here and Bronson's eating his breakfast bagel. Yep. It's time to get back on the road. I did it. You held your breath the whole way yeah. over that big bridge. It wasn't actually too hard either. Turn right onto Yamba Road. Oh, we've got a big, 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 big circle here. I held my breath all the way across that big, massive bridge. Hopefully we get to see it. It's pretty long. It's pretty long. That's what she said. <laughs> um, we can't even see all the length of it. The road. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever played that game before where like you, whenever you go over any bridge you got to hold your breath for as long as you possibly can. I uh, I failed not long in. And I did it. And you have done it. So I'm a champ. You're a true champ, babe. <laughs> I'm a breath holding champ. <laughs> 11 kilometers at the roundabout take the first exit onto Yamba Road. 14 k's away. Woo! Yamba, here we come. We have arrived. This is our cute little Airbnb. I particularly love the kitchen area. I think that it is so super cute. Of course, the wooden white look is just my cup of tea. We've got a really decent sized TV lounge area and it really feels just like home because this is the exact same rug that we have in our own lounge. Mind you, we do want to change ours, but it definitely looks really nice in this space. Through here, is the bedrooms and bathroom so this is the main bedroom i guess you could say with the queen bed in it turn the light on is the light going to turn on okay maybe the light's not going to turn on <laughs> uh, maybe we can just use the lamps <laughs> it's got a cute little side table just here and full length mirrors which is awesome because i actually was a little bit worried that it might not have full length mirrors but it does, which is great. A little bit of greenery outside. And here we have got the bathroom. Everything that you need. Nice little touch with the body wash and everything that you would need to shower, which is good. And 
the sink and another mirror. Really good lighting as well, especially if we're doing makeup. So that's good. And then this is the second bedroom, which has a bunk bed. So this would be also great for families to stay in. Because um, obviously everyone would have a bed. Nice little rug in here as well. Little side table. That just looks out into the kind of backyard area. Very, very nice. Oh, there's also mirrors in here too. Behind the door. There you go. So super cool. And I'm not sure what's in here. I haven't looked yet. Oh, perfect. Tons of linen. That's fantastic. If you were here for like, we're here for two nights, but if you were here for a while, you've got like extra bedding and like absolutely everything. So that is a really, really good. We can leave a link to the Airbnb listing in the description box below if you are going to be in the area soon and want somewhere nice to stay. This is really, really cute. Bronson is just searching what time Coles is open until. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. I can confirm. We hit the jackpot. Yeah. That's awesome. We were kind of worried that we would have to race over there as soon as possible because we thought it might close at 5 and it's almost 5 now. Um, but yeah, this couch is comfy. Hey. This is so nice. Would you be right? You're okay to drive if I crack into the red? Oh, everything's in walking distance. We're gonna walk there. Oh, you don't want to go to Coles at all? The space just ran out on the SD card. You should do it, babe. I'm excited for you. Go crack into it. Oh, I should actually show. I didn't really show the kitchen up close in my tour before, did I? This is the nice little kitchen area. I should turn the light on. The sun is setting. Um, so, oh, we've already like dumped our rubbish here. But this is a nice fruit bowl full of fruit, which is lovely. And then not only that, they've also set up for us a couple of glasses of red, which I think is just really, really nice of them. A few nibbles, wine glasses, which is so great. There's also a dishwasher, which is good if you did need to do dishes while you were here. And Bronson discovered... The Chim Tams. <laughs> that is a really nice touch as well. And you've got milk if you do need to make a tea or coffee. This is the pantry here. So you've got all of the basic amenities. And oh yeah, nice. You really, really stocked like so, so well with everything that you would need in the kitchen. You've even got a big fry pan here. Microwave, oven. All of the bits that you need for breakfast in the morning. I think we'll probably go out for breakfast. Oh, you can have that. That's a good one for Ricky. That is all the pots and pans. It's so funny just like going through, like you feel like you're going through the drawers in someone else's house, but you're not. <laughs> it's like legit an Airbnb, but you're just like, yep, <laughs> going through absolutely everything. All the utensils. And then you've even got clean wrap baking paper and tin foil which is really really good going as well there must be a barbecue here because there's barbecue stuff oh there is a little outdoor area oh that's cute even a little sunbrella oh that's really really nice so you can eat outside if you want to they have a map near their sink Bronson see this is what I'm telling you we need for our place What's that? a mat at the sink oh yes definitely but I'm gonna crack into this now for sure glass of wine is just what I need we're actually um we're actually just like taking well actually I was gonna say we're actually just taking the week off weekend off but let's face it I've got to edit a video for tomorrow still <laughs> and we're already 5 p.m so I mean we'll see how it goes if it doesn't go up it doesn't go up like you know what more is there to do basically Oh no, I just put that on the bench straight away. Jesus, that's gonna stay. <laughs> oh no. At least it's not on my white top, that's the main thing. Mmm, that's good. I've just discovered something amazing. I didn't look in here for the tour. I'm like the worst tour guide in the history of tour guides. You also get a full laundry as well with a washing machine. There's an iron. Ironing board, all the things you need to do laundry, including laundry powder. And I'm assuming there must be, oh God, sorry. I thought the end of it was.
was out there, not like right here. I thought it was further back. Oh yeah, there's a washing line just there. So you literally have everything you need. I was just saying to Bronson that this is definitely something we need to do when looking at purchasing a home is like have a downstairs that has everything kitted out like this. Firstly, it would be great when our family come over and visit. We have like a space for them to stay and be comfortable. And secondly, when we don't have family around to visit, we can also use it as an Airbnb as like an extra income, which will be amazing. So I think this will definitely be on the list when we are eventually house hunting. Have you found somewhere for dinner, Brunson? No, I think we're just going to walk around. We'll just walk around. We're just going to walk the streets. You wanna have a chat to them? <laughs> hey. Yep. <laughs> I don't really have much to say, to be honest. I've just been playing on my phone because I had to drive the whole way here, whereas Zisha got to chill out in her heated seat. I didn't I didn't actually have the heated seat on. It was Did nice and warm in the car. No, I didn't have it on at all. Oh, that's the first. Didn't yeah. turn it on once. <laughs> yeah, and saying that, I had to have the aircon on for a little while because <laughs> yeah. I was roasting. It wasn't but the warm. sun was like streaming on me, whereas Zisha was like in the, in the shade. In the shady cool part. But yeah. you were like adequate temperature, clearly. Yeah. Zisha's the very first one out of us to always turn her heater on. Especially her heated seat. As soon as we hop into the car, heated seat, bam. Heater on the feet. Bam. <laughs> Especially in the mornings. Especially in the morning. Nah, and also at night. Oh yeah, yeah. Well we don't so. often drive at night. But yeah, after work you mean. Every night, <laughs> after work we drive at night. <laughs> it's always dark when we drive home. What do you mean, girl? <laughs> yeah, what I do understand. You mean? I understand what you're saying now. I'm yeah. pleased that we brought out all these because I already know that I'm going to be freezing in this little, little condo. Yeah, speaking of heaters, Zesha's already got that one cranked up over there. Sure look at that! Look at that bad boy pumping away. I feel the cold very easily, and this is a big, beautiful, open space, which is lovely. But I just get the feeling that that heater ain't gonna cut it. Lucky you got your... my cowgirl boots. Give me the fur on the that heater ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't have much to add to that, I'm afraid. You, you, honestly, you're just blank. I'm blank, yeah, you're I've been driving. Out. I've been driving all day. I've been you're driving all day, out. girl. You're blank. And out. we went on that big hike. We went, I don't even know what it's called, but we went to this little walk earlier, which we can uh, overlay right now if we do or if we don't. It might be before this, it might be after this. It might be as I'm talking to you right now. But surprise! Surprise! <laughs> it's happening right now. Um, we went on this big walk, and it was probably a good couple of kilometers. It was, it was good. It was nice. good to stretch our legs, like after mm. being in the car for three hours, and just yeah, get some sunshine, There's get some fresh air. Bunch of surfer dudes out there. There was a bunch of fishermen and fisher ladies, and just a bunch of people walking and doing their thing. Yeah, so, that was nice. It was yeah, a nice was really little nice. way to end end the road trip. Yeah, well before we actually came to the Airbnb, we decided to just like do a little bit of a check out what the local scenery has to offer. Yes. And then we spotted that and we're like, right, time to stretch them legs out. Yeah, I know. And actually, unknowingly, we almost drove here. We did. We, we stopped, actually... We did a U-turn like just a couple of yeah. houses along. No, we, we it was actually arrived. good parts. Yeah, outside the big white one, just, oh, just yeah. across there. Probably like so, 20 meters away from here. Yeah, we did, we not did know. a U-turn, and then when we typed in the address, we were like, oh, that's where we were when we first got here. Yeah, we were home and we didn't even know it. Didn't even know it. So yeah, this is so local to like all the shops and in walking distance. So I don't think it'll be too much longer because, what's the time again, sorry? I keep forgetting what the time is. Are you drunk already, girl? I'm drunk already. <laughs> I'm drunk I'm having a time cow, in my life. My cowgirl goots. Goots. It's 422. Yeah. My cowgirl boots tell me that I'm a little bit tipsy. <laughs> My cowgirl boots tell me it's time for a showdown. I'm actually so happy with these boots. Show the vlog my boots. There you go. There you go, vlog. These are her new boots. That's Guess how much they were. Blue. Guess how much they were. Leave your guesses in the comments below. You've got three seconds. Three, two, one. Are they 200 bucks? Are they 300 bucks? Or are they? 35 bucks. 25. Oh no. Were they 25? Yeah, they were. They were $25. Okay, but well why'd you tell them that? 
This was supposed to be a guess. <laughs> so $25. There you go. So that was a waste of time. 25 bucks. Delete your comments and maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe comment saying else if you plan on comment. Or maybe say, thanks for ruining the surprise, Zisha. <laughs> I was looking forward to finding when out. When you said thirty-five dollars, I thought you were telling them the no, actual price. I was still saying, was it thirty-five? <laughs> and then you could have been, oh, is it twenty-five? And then we could have did a big unveil at the end. Oh, now you see what well, I, was, I was leading into a, a, right. a, a second video we where, were on. <laughs> where we unveiled. You guys would have tuned in for that. We're like, <gasps> watch this on. next video where we tell you how much her shoes cost. <laughs> Well, you don't even need to tune in to the next one now. Yeah, so. $25. You just I got, love them. I actually yeah. love them. You guys just got two videos for the value of one. So, that's a bargain of your you time. You can thank my cowgirl boots for that. Yeah. And my wit of thinking about ruining the surprise. <laughs> I'm really happy with them. Yeah, I can tell. They look, they look pretty good. They look good yeah. with the outfit. Yeah, they do. I might need to pick myself up another pair because they're already getting a bit... Did you yeah. tell them where you got them from? Big W Big of w. all places. Yeah. Big W. We went to late night shopping on Thursday at Pacific Fair. We were there for two hours walking around. Where do we go? Going into every shop. Yeah, we went well, to... Kmart was first, then Target. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> Kmart, Kmart and Target. Then Target. But then we went Nothing. to actual shoe shops. Yep, then we went to... Windsor Smith. Um, that... That one that had all the jackets and stuff in it that didn't have shoes, looking for shoes, but they didn't have that. Oh uh, yeah. I don't know what that one's called. I know. We just H &M, went to lots. Zara. Yeah. Windsor Smith. And we also stopped by Surf Dice. Oh, I don't think it was Surf Dice. Surf Dice Ski and City Beach, City just Beach. to have a look. Yeah. But that's actually where I picked up my jacket. You might have seen earlier that I was, I was rocking. Well, yes, the jacket is in a particular. You'll get a lot of wear out of it, but in particular for. Our exciting photo shoot tomorrow. Yeah, that we won. So stay tuned for the next video, and we will reveal what the photo shoot is for. Mm. Yeah, that is right. <laughs> you guys will find out. So we picked up that jacket, and then literally, I was like, still had not found shoes at Windsor Smith. I did find shoes, but they didn't have my size. They were a size too small. And they were rubbing on my toes, and they were 170 bucks. So, which is fine if you find the right pair of shoes. Yeah, which is fine if you find the like, right pair of shoes. Don't get us wrong. We we like Kmart and Target, but we don't always choose to shop there <laughs> <laughs> because we're cheap asses and they got like they got good I do good like a girl bargain yeah, though. So yeah. at the last minute, literally, I you I left you in the dust. Yeah. I ran to Big W because everything was about to close and I was like, I'd seen these online but I just didn't know what they looked like in person. I'd only seen the photos on their website. Mm. And I like, as I was rushing in the doors, the lady was like, we're closed in a few minutes. And I was like, yeah, no trouble. I was like, got in there. Literally, as soon as I got in there, the roller doors came down. I asked one of the workers where the shoe department was. Rush to the shoe department. They only had two left. And I was just like, here we go. Not gonna have my size. Tons and tons and tons left in black. Oh, yeah black you could have any size that you wanted brown Two left and at the big W closest to my work zero which I'd already checked So I look at the size holding my breath thinking please be my size. Please be my size They both were my size long story short. She's got her <gasps> shoes now got my shoes. And while she was doing that I was at grilled eating myself a burger and fries <laughs> Having the time of my life because I was hangry by that point <laughs> I should have got both pairs actually in hindsight because I actually love them and do you know what? They're gonna be all sold out now. Yeah, well. Because people everyone loves them. They're a they're a top seller. Top Clearly. Seller. Mm. They're all run out run out at the mall at my work. They're all well, this was the second last pair at Pat Fear. Sure, I'm gonna if I see them again, I'm gonna pick up another pair because these are actually decent. And on that note, I think this needs to be a separate video just on how much <laughs> she loves those shoes. What do you guys reckon? <laughs> You mean we sat here for 20 minutes <laughs> talking about them damn shoes, Stu? <laughs> We've been filming for 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've been looking. And you at wanted it. to make it a weekend vlog, yeah, right, Brussels sprouts. Yeah, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, 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 a seven-day video. Seven. Not stop. Yeah, tune in for it. <laughs> okay, we better stop talking now. Yeah, we're it. talking a lot. <laughs> you want us to talk some more? I can talk heaps more. What do you think of? 
my eyebrows. <laughs> I got a haircut. The lady actually offered to cut my eyebrows again. I, I'm starting to get random eyebrow. That cracks me up. But Tell she... me you're old without telling me you're old. Hairdresser asks if you want your eyebrows trimmed while you're there. <laughs> yeah, but she also said she asks everyone if they want them trimmed, so <laughs> that made me feel better. She just says that to people to make them feel better. <laughs> She just had said there was one random one that she had to trim. She got rid of it for me, so sorted. Anyway, I got my haircut. What do you guys reckon? I like it. Uh, I, I finally found my new hairdresser. It's been a long time in the making. I feel like for the majority of the time I've lived in the Gold Coast, my hair has not been on point at all. It's actually been pretty shit house. But I found my lady, and she happens to be right at Zisha's shopping sitting, mall. Sitting right next to him. I'm your lady. Well, yeah. <laughs> my lady in love, and then my lady in hair. <laughs> two separate ladies, <laughs> and I found my hair lady. <laughs> so yeah, so this is my go. Every six weeks, I like it. Nice and good. Yeah, she does a good job. She did a good job. She really does. And she trims your eyebrows, which and is awesome. And she trims my eyebrows, so yeah. I might have to ask her to trim my nostrils next. <laughs> yeah, she'll probably ask you that soon. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just, I'll deliberately leave a couple Danglers out. <laughs> hey, what about this? <laughs> Too far? See you later. <laughs>go back from dinner we had pizza at drift it was so delicious zisha came up with why they probably called it drift because it looks like they're wood fire wood, pizzas wood fire pizzas drift so wood. drift wood so it makes sense but <laughs> in saying that i don't actually know if they're wood fire pizzas or not i'm don't not know. sure makes sense know. to me makes sense to me <laughs> <laughs> and we are wearing our brand new Matching PJs that I showed PJs. you guys earlier. I'm in love with these. They're nice. They yeah. look very handsome. They're pretty nice. Them. Good size as well. Good fit. I just got the mediums. She got the small. Matching bottoms. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? See, she's freezing. I've got my hoodie. <laughs> she's got her hoodie on. I've got mine on standby. <laughs> it is a little bit chilly. We are quite cold, we yeah. must say. It's actually only 6.30 p.m. And we were just saying just earlier that it actually feels closer to 9 p.m. We're pretty tired. When you find we're like just traveling a little bit, it actually, it's quite exhausting. Mm. Even though the trip here was only about two and a half hours, we still feel tired. Feel like kind of jet lagged. I went to sleep quite late last night because I was naughty. You didn't have a very good sleep. But you know what? We went out there and we did it and we got to Yamba. <laughs> First and Camera just ran out of space again. again. <laughs> so as I was saying, first impressions of Yamba so far? I love the walk out across the, they call it the break wall. I thought mm -hmm. that was really nice. Yep. I think our Airbnb is very cute. Yeah. And dinner was delicious. And walking the streets was actually quite pleasant as well. Oh, so peaceful. We haven't been small town vibes. Yeah, we haven't had small town vibes in ages. A very long time. Very long time. So Extremely long time. Like New Zealand, probably. Well, Dalesford in Melbourne. But even uh, that was pretty busy because it was a busy. tourist hotspot. But it was also a long weekend. Everyone mm. was escaping for the yeah, long weekend. Yeah, so there were still like tons and tons of people around. But tonight was just so nice. Easy mm. breezy, relaxing. Just chilled. But anyhow, that wraps up today's video. Thank you so much for spending the day with us. If you mm. did enjoy... You know what to do. Give it a good thumbs up and a comment on down below. Tell us wherever you're planning on going for your next little wee holiday. And we look forward to seeing you guys in our next video. Bye.